Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nasdaq Bits, and today I want to be checking out this NVIDIA Quattro 2000 card. Now, this thing's been around the block by this point. Not many people like the Quattro units because generally if you're getting a Quattro unit, then you're getting it because uh, you're working with CAD features, you're building assemblies, and you're making simulations. And when you're doing that, you want to have, you want to make sure that everything works down to a certain decimal point, basically. And these things, are they're really well powered to be very accurate a lot like ECC RAM and much like ECC RAM nobody uses it much and along with Xeon chips that are mainly for servers on the secondary market the price is almost nothing because that's an enterprise thing Xeon is enterprise Quattro a lot is more for actually going into business doing business than uh, running video cards for 10 bucks this thing is almost as powerful as units that also cost 80 so this thing cost me 10 bucks another 20 bucks to have it ship but uh, it is almost as fast as cards uh, twice its price with something like this once again you're working on assemblies you're doing CAD work and it's got to be <clears throat> really good so let's take a look at some games with this thing this thing it should be said is uh, is probably only about 60% as fast as a 1030 so it's definitely for budget games and budget situations but it is better to go online and get one of these things oh my goodness sorry about that it's just about bedtime and apparently it's a uh, stompy mcstomper face time up there for the kids but anyways this is cheaper than getting a 710 new a geoforce 710 new and it is so much better it's so much better oh no it's so much better than a 710 new oh, these guys are drunk go home you guys you're drunk look at this guy he looks like he's looking into my soul i saw him in a grab bag and i was like my goodness he looks like he's been he got into the wrong kind of edibles or something he looks like he's seeing the eighth dimension i don't know man something's up with that guy but anyways he will come with us and he will test this card and we'll see what kind of power we can get out of this now here's another video card that i got for the unit that i'm working on that that system costs about uh, eighty dollars here's the system that i'm tweaking right now you guys know i got a bunch of systems that i'm tweaking off over yonder i got two xeon units over there i got those ones pretty well set up though so i gotta i gotta finish this one up first it should be said that the Quattro 2000 has a DVI and two display outputs. Of course, the power of the LED should amplify it tenfold, right? Okay, let's start off with something nice and easy. How about some Fortnite? Hitting the start area in performance mode at 120 frames per second. Not so bad. Rendering on the bus is not too bad. Time to talk to the orb and see if anyone is man or, I guess, lady enough to see me at the bottom. And I'm about touching down at the orb at about 100 frames per second, descending at about 70. Not bad. Not bad at all. Definitely good for a budget system. Definitely great for a budget system. So right now I'm getting about, uh, geez, anywhere from 60 to 100 frames per second here down on the ground on the hunt. Once again, I am really surprised what 30 bucks will get me. Just because it has Quattro on the name, it doesn't sound like it's for gaming, so most people would avoid it. So I definitely think this is one of those things that uh, we could support and save some money. Just like we can save some money by uh, purchasing Xeon server type chips and uh, building PCs out of them. It should be said that the PC I'm playing this on is a Xeon E3 uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, so here we have Grand Theft Auto 5 operating at about 20 frames per second. It still looks a little bit rough, but it, but it's taken up the full screen. There's definitely a lot to be said about that. And, um, yeah, could be worse. So for 10 bucks or 30 bucks ship, this is definitely the best value you're going to be getting for your money, especially in this hardware shortage we got going on right now. Ouch. So here we have the tech power-up information. You'll see it's very important that we have uh, GDDR5. Uh, the higher that score goes, the better the system is. And uh, yeah, we got uh, one gigabyte of memory size. You can see here the video games won't do all that good in, uh, in uh, 1366 times 768. 
so you know that 1080 isn't going to be the best but i i still say this is the best budget system that you're going to be able to get your hands on <laughs> check it out it's almost like 11 years old now Definitely one of the big advantages of this thing is suggested power supply is uh, really low. You don't need any extra special hookups to hook into this lady. Well, folks, that's it from me and my heavy-footed son. I definitely think you should pick this thing up if you're looking for a super budget video card. It's interesting how cheap it goes while everyone's looking for the video gaming units. And, uh, yeah, have a good one, folks. Take care of each other, eh?